Can an unmanned aircraft carrier that completed its maiden sea trials in just three days truly enter active service within a hundred days? The Type 076 amphibious assault ship, named the Sichuan, is sparking intense debate among global military observers with its unprecedented construction and testing speed. It not only signifies a revolutionary leap in the Chinese Navy's amphibious warfare capabilities, but may also redefine the rules of modern naval warfare. At approximately 5 p.m. on November 16, 2025, China's first domestically developed and constructed Type 076 amphibious assault ship, the Sichuan, returned smoothly to the shipyard dock after completing its initial three-day sea trials. This duration was one day shorter than the four-day maiden sea trials of the Type 075 amphibious assault ship's lead vessel, the Hainan, drawing widespread attention. Officials stated succinctly that the trials involved testing the ship's propulsion, electrical systems, and other equipment, achieving the expected results. For observers tracking the development of China's Navy, however, the information contained within these brief three days of sea trials is immense. Publicly available information confirms the Sichuan is a warship brimming with innovative designs. With a full load displacement exceeding 40,000 tons, it features a unique dual island superstructure and a full length flight deck. Most notably, it pioneers the application of electromagnetic, catapult, and arresting gear technology. This design enables the Sichuan to carry fixed wing aircraft, helicopters, amphibious equipment, and other aerial vehicles elevating its combat capabilities to near-aircraft carrier standards. The dual island design assigns distinct functions to the forward and aft islands. The forward island primarily handles navigation and command, enabling seamless coordination with other vessels in the formation. The aft island focuses exclusively on air traffic control, efficiently directing drones, helicopters, and allied aircraft, significantly enhancing operational command efficiency. The construction pace of the Sichuan is unprecedented. From its launch in December last year to sea trials in November this year, only 11 months elapsed, with the entire construction cycle completed in just 15 months. This accelerated timeline reflects China's exceptional efficiency and robust supply chain system in large vessel construction. Particularly noteworthy is the swift public disclosure of the ship's hull number 51 and name following its launch, a privilege typically reserved for aircraft carriers. This underscores the pivotal role the Type 076 amphibious assault ship holds within the Chinese Navy's fleet. What enabled the Sichuan's accelerated construction and sea trials? Multiple factors converged to achieve this outcome. First is the application of modular construction technology, building warships like assembling building blocks. Outside the dry dock, workers pre-installed radars, cables, pipelines, and equipment in workshops. Once the hull was assembled, these components were plug and play, eliminating the need for years of post-launch dock installations. Second, the mature implementation of an all-electric propulsion system. The Sichuan employs a medium-voltage direct current integrated electric propulsion system developed by academician Ma Wuming's team. Through targeted power supply and intelligence scheduling, it resolves issues of voltage fluctuations and equipment interference inherent in traditional alternating current systems. Compared to the currently deployed Type 075 amphibious assault ship, the Type 076 represents a significant leap in performance. Beyond its larger displacement, with a full load displacement expected to reach or approach 50,000 tons, placing it among the world's largest amphibious assault ships, its most notable feature is the electromagnetic catapult system. This capability enables the launch of fixed-wing drones, greatly enhancing reconnaissance and strike capabilities. It allows the ship to operate in coordination with aircraft carrier strike groups, forming a more powerful integrated maritime combat force. Moreover, the Hainan-class ship can directly replicate the electromagnetic catapult technology from the Fujian class without requiring special modifications. This means J-35 fighters capable of electromagnetic catapult takeoff on the Fujian can perform takeoff and arresting maneuvers on the 076 without any modifications. This technical approach cleverly avoids the particularly complex tall technology paths pursued by other nations achieving a more efficient development route. The true revolutionary aspect of the Sichuan aircraft carrier may lie in its integration with carrier-based drones, particularly its coordination with the GZ-21 stealth carrier-based drone, which made its public debut during this year's September 3 military parade. The GZ-21 is the world's first operational stealth flying wing carrier-based attack drone. Based on the GZ-11, it features foldable wings and split ailerons for enhanced pitch and roll control flexibility. The extended split-type drag surfaces on the wingtips enhance deceleration capabilities, 
reducing the landing roll distance. These designs make the GZ-21 exceptionally well suited for operations aboard the Liaoning aircraft carrier. Military experts note that at least two types of UAVs were deployed on the Liaoning, reconnaissance and early warning drones, and stealth attack drones. Large reconnaissance and early warning UAVs can replace the role of early warning aircraft, conducting surveillance over the formation to gather real-time maritime and aerial intelligence. Stealth attack UAVs like the Attack 21, judging by its weapons bay size, can carry substantial payloads of ground attack, anti-ship, and even air-to-air -air weapons to execute diverse maritime combat missions. From a tactical perspective, the Situant's deployment has revolutionized the conduct of distant sea amphibious operations, achieving the over-the-horizon landing capability once envisioned, but never realized by the United States. The significance of this approach lies in deploying long-range fixed-wing carrier-based aircraft to first strike coastal defenses and beachhead targets, shattering enemy resolve, before executing a rapid, three-dimensional landing operation without visual contact with the coastline. Reviewing the development of China's amphibious warships, the Type 071 dock landing ship addressed rapid landing capabilities. The Type 075 amphibious assault ship enabled three-dimensional landings, while the Type 076 leverages quasi-aircraft carrier effects to elevate both landing operations and air, see interdiction capabilities to new heights. Returning to our initial question, can the Sichuan-class aircraft carrier complete all sea trial subjects within 100 days and formally enter service? Drawing from the Fujian-class carrier's experience, it underwent eight sea trials, including its inaugural voyage spanning 117 days. Considering the Sichuan-class test subjects are less complex than those of the Fujian-class, this goal appears feasible. Some analysts speculate that if the Sichuan sea trials proceed smoothly, we might see it formally join the People's Navy by late 2026 or early 2027. However, others argue that given the slightly different complexity of system integration and testing for amphibious assault ships compared to aircraft carriers, commissioning by late 2026 is more likely. Regardless of its final commissioning date, the Sichuan's emergence sends a clear message to the world. China's naval amphibious warfare capabilities are undergoing transformative advancement. The U.S. Chief of Naval Operations has stated that China's Sichuan is a quasi-aircraft carrier, a globally innovative large combat vessel with formidable combat power, and that the U.S. will continue monitoring its development. This remark reveals deep concern about the operational capabilities of America's own America-class and WASP-class amphibious assault ships. The success of the Sichuan-class ship implies accelerated construction of subsequent Type 076 vessels. Moreover, owing to its highly modular design, characterized by low cost, short production cycles, and strong replicability, Future formations may feature multiple Type 076 ships operating in coordinated unmanned combat clusters. Regarding hull numbering, the Sichuan-class carrier bears the hull number 51, while the four active Type 075 amphibious assault ships are designated 31, 32, 33, and 34. This suggests hull numbers 30 to 40 remain reserved for the Type 075, with numbers above 50 potentially reserved for subsequent Type 076 vessels. If this logic holds, the Chinese Navy's demand for amphibious assault ships could potentially exceed that of the U.S. Navy, which currently operates nine such vessels. From a broader historical perspective, the Sichuan represents a new direction in naval equipment development, skillfully integrating the functions of an amphibious assault ship with those of an unmanned carrier. It retains the traditional amphibious assault capabilities while gaining aviation combat capabilities comparable to a medium-sized aircraft carrier through the integration of electromagnetic catapults and unmanned aerial vehicles. This design approach is not only technologically innovative but also opens new tactical and strategic possibilities. When the Sichuan-class ship and stealth drones like the Z-21 appear together on the maritime battlefield, the rules of naval warfare may be rewritten.